using just one message reaction this is how did the black death affect africa and asia by channel history matters i like this because there's a theory that maybe mongols brought it right so this is going to be interesting the bubonic plague stage name <laughs> the black death okay th there was a specific time when the bubonic plague became this deadly and that was called the black death i think the early bubonic plague justinian's plague right that also killed one out of three holy shit i mean come on this plague is so deadly that it kills one out of three every time in the justinian time it also killed one out of three and that fucked up the whole justinian empire right i mean this is that devastating people think look byzantium during the justinian time was so at, at, at its height why right? was doing so well he took over he took over most of the roman empire again yeah then there came the bubonic plague justinian plague right it should be called black death too i think all bubonic plague should be called black death i know there was a variation like mutation but still it's just kind of same thing right so the black death when it came uh, oh my god one out of three it's like i think it was like uh, about 100 to 200 million deaths that time not today imagine if uh, you know so something really deadly comes in one specific part not of the whole world like this was only in europe as far as we know like something in europe just suddenly comes and kills like 200 million we'd be like holy shit right uh, corona was so uh, devastating and yet it wasn't as deadly as bubonic plague of course it was global so you know it felt really fucked up but bubonic plague i mean as i'm saying this it's dawning on me that no plague really goes away and it comes back even stronger and it's scaring me like holy shit what if bubonic plague comes this time and it's a global thing like covid yeah i think we are all fucked if that happens People say World War Three happens, then World War Four will be with stick and stones. I don't think we need World War Three. I think the next plague will make sure that we fight next World War with stick and stones. So yeah, how it affected Africa and Asia? I don't think it did much, right? Because that's how the economy was at that time, right? Spreading was not like that. But the theory that it came with Mongol, which I think is not right, but it's still a theory that Mongols brought it. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be, but let's watch it. History Matters is a great channel. I love how they explain complex topic in this small time. So yeah, let's watch it. The Black Death ravaged medieval <clears throat> Europe across the mid-14th century. It's known that the disease made its way to Europe via the Black Sea and the surrounding trade routes. We all know how terrible it was in Europe, but something not often discussed is how it affected the rest of the world. So how exactly did it? How did the Black Death affect Africa and Asia? As many of you will know, the plague arrived in Europe in 1346, and at the same time it was being carried down south to the Islamic world. And here okay. it also caused complete devastation. The first major state to bear the brunt in the region was the Mamluk Sultanate. Cairo and Alexandria saw vast mortalities, and mm. the plague soon spread across North Africa and into the Middle East. So how did the what? Islamic world respond differently to Europe? In Europe, the disease was known to be highly contagious, which is why many places entered quarantines, people fled for the countryside, or states closed their borders. Outsiders were largely seen as responsible for the plague, whereas in the Middle East, the plague wasn't seen as infectious. People refused to leave their hometowns, and in many cases they were forbidden from doing so. There was also a fundamental difference in how Muslims saw the plague. Whilst Christians saw it as divine punishment, Muslims saw it as just another part of life, and there wasn't much in the way of a mass panic. And in the end, much like the Christian world, this led to widespread death and destruction, and both recovered from the plague at roughly the same point. As for sub-Saharan Africa, well, there's no evidence to suggest- So let me get this straight, and you're like, ah, this is, a, this is a punishment by God, oh, we are all gonna get fucked, they just screamed around in panic, and it did the same thing they did with the Muslim world, but in Muslim world, people just stood around, like, oh, it's happening, what can you do? So result is the same, but one panic and one day, is that what it is? God damn, I don't know how, how they didn't panic like that, right? I mean, there was probably somewhat panic because they were contained by the sultanates or whatever. They just closed gates and nobody ran away or whatever. And religious factor is a very strong one, right? So in the Christian world, Europe, basically, everybody just thought this is God's punishment and that kind of caused more panic. Like, oh, we are all fucked. If God is doing this, which means God will kill us or something because, you know, th that whole Christian thing, right? The sinners will die or whatever it is, right? Noah's Ark thing. So th that could have been their mentality. Well, in so Muslim world, that wasn't the case. It's like, oh, this is happening. Nothing is, has nothing to do with God. This is one of the way of life. I guess that changes thing in a way. Just that the plague ever got there, which must have been nice. So what about the world's two largest population centers, China and India? Yeah. China at this point was ruled by the Yuan dynasty, which was keen on keeping records. Its bureaucrats recorded any and all natural disasters and disease outbreaks. And so, if the plague were there, it would have been known, right? Well, sort of. 
There were numerous outbreaks of disease across the mid-14th century in China, but it's not known if any of them were the plague. The reason being that these outbreaks weren't seen as anything special. Unlike in Europe and the Middle East, there was no mention of buboes or necrotic fingers or anything of the like. Which is why these outbreaks could be smallpox or flu, since those mm. writing about it saw them as quite run-of-the-mill. And in India, which at the So there are villages that is dying somewhat. Fuck him. So basically there is no writing. <laughs> I don't know. I think, you know, even if you hate the sparsity of the place, like China at the time, even though it had a good populace, and I think uh, places were, I guess, spaced out, towns were at a distance or something. I mean, that could be the case. That would have made uh, it spread less, right? Europe is densely packed, even from the start, right? Even years ago, during this time, it was still dense enough compared to the other places. So that probably helped it spread more the time was mostly dominated by the sultans of Delhi, there's no evidence to suggest that the plague ever reached it. Mm. Delhi was a major trading partner of both the... So if the Mongols spread in Europe, I think we could understand how it, uh, you know, uh, didn't arrive in India, even though there is no evidence of it being in China, basically Mongol Empire at the time. Uh, if that happened, and if uh, uh, somehow Chinese and Mongols basically at the time were somewhat immune, so there is not much evidence of it there, but they brought it, we could see how it wouldn't reach India because of the mountainous area. That's the same reason why the Mongols never dominated India to begin with, because of the, this uh, difference. Ilkhana to the Mamluk Sultanate, and yet it didn't see the plague spread there. There were mm -hmm. epidemics during the time, but like China, these weren't seen as special enough to warrant any further description, which leaves everybody completely in the dark about whether or not the plague reached the area. Mm -hmm. And there is some supporting evidence that these two regions didn't suffer the Black Death at the same time as Europe and the Middle East. And this is because in later centuries when the bubonic plague did infect the regions, it was absolutely devastating in a way that it wasn't for Europe or the Middle East contemporarily. The people who lived in Europe and the Middle East had built up immunities over the centuries, in a way uh. that those in India or China simply never could. Again though, none of Ooh. this is known for certain. No one can say with 100% surety where the Black Death didn't go, only that where it did go, it caused complete devastation. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode and a special thanks I mean, if it came to India, I guess there is not much of evidence about it. So it kind of makes sense. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, Black Death, basically uh, one of the most fucked up, if not the fucked up uh, plague ever known. This is where the, that creepy mask thing comes from, right? I don't know what they did with, with the fucking nose thing. And they put something in the end of the nose because of that somehow filtered out virus. Because I'm pretty sure that didn't work. But they were still doing that, right? I think the first time I saw that was in Assassin's Creed 2. As Zio one. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is the doctor wearing that? Why is this creepy shit that I researched at that time? I guess this was back in 2009 or something or 2008. I don't remember. But yeah, there you go. All right, well, that was how did the Black Death affect Africa and Asia? Maybe. That's the answer. Maybe, but nobody knows. Well, channel History Matters. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.